This is the Ooh We Nation I TV. I I'm Ali Bubble 37 from Team Wolf Life. I'm with my brother, Got him Kook from the Playboys. And you know what? This is family first. They're no strangers to the Ooh We Nation Bowl. They were Team Molo the first two years. Year three last year, they represented Team Flynn. Yeah. Actually, for two years, they represented Team Flynn. And then now they are the family first. These guys, you know, before we get into their highlights, I want to give a big shout out to Dante Owens. They call him D.O. He's the manager. He's the one that sponsored their team. Yep. And he took this tournament to another level with the University of Miami light colored jerseys. And you it know was, what? It was nasty. It was nasty. Yeah, and he brought the turnover chain, adding another element for every turnover that these guys got. They were the turnover chain, GM, just like Miami. GM was creative. I mean, he brought a, a different dynamic to this Ui Nation Bowl. And you were actually correct. Team Molos came two years because Flynn had their own team. And then they united in year three. True that. And then uh, family first in uh, four. And uh, I got a special part of, uh, spot in my heart for these guys, you know, because they were the first team uh, that went to the shit. That's true. And then we made it. That's and true. then, you know, we played them and beat them. But, man, these guys is uh, full of talent. And these guys just got, like, they're, like, they're missing one thing. Well, speaking of talent, you know, they got <coughs> studs like professional football player Eric Dargan. Yeah. You got superstars like Tracy Clark and yeah. Ray Sean Hicks. Uh, you got Austin. Julius Mose. I mean, the list goes on. I can name the whole roster, and people know about these guys. They, they're they always finding themselves a game before the championship or in the championship. But nevertheless, they're always in the hunt got, to win got, it off, man. I, I mean, these guys run through every team. I mean, <laughs> you know what they remind me of? Year one, they were the ones dancing. They yeah. were the ones jumping. Exactly. And you, oh, look at this little dance right there. You know, dance even even during the play. Because these guys got that much talent to do so. They could dance during the play and score touchdowns. Yeah, and you know what? I think, like you said, the only one thing missing is figuring out who's going to be at quarterback. I've never seen an NFL yeah. team win a Super Bowl changing the four quarterbacks. I've never seen college football other than Jalen Hurts and Tua Tonga Vailoa. And that was a halftime That was a halftime I mean, switch. You these know? guys, but they'll throw one bad pass. One guy would throw a touchdown. I'm like, dog. And, and you would think you would ride that touchdown <laughs> momentum, but the next guy would be at quarterback. You, you, you so. know what's crazy is they'll stick with one quarterback if they're playing, a, a, I don't want to say it, but a trash team. And then when they're playing a... A legit team, yeah. they start switching quarterbacks to try to find out who's gonna win it. Oh, you stick with who you got and run with your, you know, run with who you got. I totally agree, man. But when you have a team, like I said, this is Rayshon Hicks, uh, an interception on NWO with Walker Ralph throwing a pick. But you know, when you have so much talent, when you have so much ability out there and you don't have nobody to corral them into a place where, hey, this is one quarterback, we're going to do it like this, yeah. you guys start running around crazy, man. Everyone wants to be a quarterback. This, this is my thing. If, if, before, this, before the Uwe Nation Bowl, if you got me marked down as a quarterback, best believe on Saturday, I'm going to be quarterback and I'm not moving. You're not taking me out. You guys better believe in me because you guys put me there for a reason. And if I throw four picks, guess what? You not coming to take me out. I was the quarterback. Nevertheless, these guys was out here making plays. They were dominating guys. Team Drip. Uh, they beat Team Drip in dominating fashion. They beat NWO. They beat the they beat they beat everybody in their way. Yeah. And then they came short in the semifinals. The game to go to the championship, Wolf Life just was too overwhelming with their with their age and their wisdom. Yeah. Uh, but these guys, look at Eric Dargan. I mean, Dargan was all over the place. You know what? I think the MVP of this team might go to Rayshon Hicks. This guy was getting interceptions. He was throwing touchdowns. He was running touchdowns. And he was getting sacks. Like, this guy was doing it all. Doing it all, man. I mean, like, when you, when you got speed like that, you can do all those things. You know what I mean? And uh, playing quarterback and running, you, you got to watch out for the double factor. Oh, Don't. my gosh. I want to direct your attention to this. We're going to slow this down. Eric Darkin tells Chris Vicker something is in the air. Wow. And he pumps him. And that's got to be an embarrassing moment to jump and grab nothing but cloud. 
Yeah, I, you know, I played with Eric Darkin last year. You know, it, it was a pleasure playing with him, man. You know, uh, shout out to the family first, man. These guys, 2018, they will be back 2019. If I know Dio, he's going to bring some more heat for the Wii Nation Bowl. Celebrating five years.